The first book I want to share today is Brave Girl, Clara and the Shirtwaist Makers Strike of 1909 by Michelle Markle, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. When Clara Limlick arrived in America with her family, no one will hire her father. So young Clara becomes a garment worker to help pay for food and rent. She finds the working conditions unacceptable for all people, especially for girls as young as 12. Clara has grit and she refuses to accept the mistreatment of her fellow laborers. She bands workers together and leads the largest walkout of women workers in this country's history. Markle includes additional information about the garment industry and an excellent bibliography with primary sources. Sweet illustrations using gouache, watercolor, and mixed media tell the story beautifully. Her use of fabric, string, and stitching evokes the work of Clara and garment makers throughout history. The next book is Malala's Magic Pencil by Malala Yousafzai, illustrated by Kara Skowitz. Winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, Malala Yousafzai it tells her inspiring story of growing up in a war-torn region, yet still seeing the magic of hope everywhere she looked. The ink and watercolor illustrations are magical with touches of metallic rose gold throughout the book. The story ends with a letter to the reader from Malala, encouraging them to find magic in their own lives and speak up for what they believe in. Next we have Here Come the Girl Scouts by Shanna Corey, illustrated by Hadley Hooper. Proper, dainty, and delicate. Girls in the Victorian era were supposed to be all of these things, but Daisy wanted adventure and excitement. The story of Juliet Gordon Lowe is as enchanting today as it was back in 1912 when she gathered 18 girls for the first ever Girl Scout meeting. Hooper's artwork includes quotes from the first Girl Scout handbook and reflects the styles of the time period. Corey includes extensive notes and source lists for those who would like to continue learning about the Girl Scouts. The Youngest Marcher, the story of Audrey Faye Hendricks, a young civil rights activist by Cynthia Levinson, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. At nine, Audrey Faye Hendricks wanted to eat her ice cream at the counter at Newberry's, but she was not allowed due to the color of her skin. She listened as her family and leaders in her community spoke and urged people to do something to make a change. Audrey volunteered to march in the Children's March. She was the youngest known marcher and was arrested on the very first day. Levinson weaves a wonderful story using source materials and firsthand accounts. This book, along with the illustrations by Brantley Newton, show readers just exactly how young children can make an impact in their world. March is Women's History Month, so I wanted to share with you some of my favorite juvenile women history books. These are books that are great for readers in third through fifth grade. The first book is Isabel Feeney, Star Reporter, and the author's name is Beth Fantasky. Isabel Feeney, Star Reporter, is a fantastic, captivating middle grades mystery with a feisty female heroine. Author Beth Fantasky bases her story on real historical women who broke gender barriers to become crime reporters in the 1920s. So if you like the 1920s era or historical fiction, or if you previously read Harriet the Spy and liked it, then I highly suggest this book. The next book is a graphic novel, and its title is Stargazing, and the author's name is Jen Wang. It's an awkward, funny, touching, sad story about two main characters, Moon and Christine, that grow up in the same Chinese-American suburb, but they are very different. New York Times bestselling author and illustrator Jin Wang navigates those differences and gives readers a personal and relatable story of friendship and navigating the world of middle school. The next book is a nonfiction book entitled Girls Who Code, and it's written by Reshma Sanjwa. In hopes of tackling the gender gap in STEAM, Reshma writes this how-to guidebook to teach and create coders. 
To inspire young readers, the book is also filled with real-life stories of girls and women working at places such as Pixar and NASA. And if you enjoy Girls Who Code, then you can also read the spinoff fictional series written by Stasha Deutsch. We have two of these so far in our collection via ebook, and the first one is The Friendship Code, and the second one is Team BFF Race to the Finish. The next book is another nonfiction book by Veronica Chambers, and it's Finish the Fight The Brave Revolutionary Women Who Fought for the Right to Vote. This is a new book that we just recently got on our shelf. This timely and moving New York Times bestseller looks at social justice and the brave and revolutionary women who fought for the right to vote. Beautiful portraits accompany the biographies of those who helped lead the fight for suffrage. And the last book is also a nonfiction book entitled Noisemakers, 25 Women Who Raised Their Voices and Changed the World. This fun, easy-to-read graphic collection is a wonderful teaching tool filled with women who changed the world. From Caroline Herschel, the woman who discovered a comet, to Ray Montague, the first person in history to design a ship using a computer. This book shows 25 extraordinary women through the eyes of 25 talented comic artists. For teens grades 7 through 12, there are some excellent books to celebrate Women's History Month. Told in Verse, Audacity by Melanie Crowder is the perfect book for a reader who is reluctant of historical fiction. From the first page, you are brought into real-life heroine Clara Lemlich's journey from Russia to New York as she fights for equal rights of the women who lived during the turn of the century. With a film adaptation coming to Netflix soon, Moxie by Jennifer Matthew is not a book you want to miss. Follow protagonist Vivian Carter as she takes a stand alongside her classmates against misogyny in her high school. This book will make you feel empowered to make change. Graphic novel fans look no further than Brazen by Penelope Bagu. This book is full of fun, colorful illustrations. The women in this book go against the status quo and embrace all parts of themselves. One of my favorite features was on Margaret Hamilton, the notorious Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. Fans of John Green and coming-of-age stories, check out The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. Lei Chen Sanders journeys to Taiwan to meet her maternal grandparents after her mother dies of, by suicide. Lei learns to process the grief and the loss while finding joy in her new relationships with her estranged family. Grab a box of tissues for this powerful and emotional read.